Hi guys, I am currently in Kiev, Ukraine. As you probably have seen already on the news, Russia has attacked Ukraine this morning. I haven't slept all night. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Um, the news are coming literally every second. It's kind of hard to understand what's going on just yet. I'm recording this so um, I know a lot of people are worried about me. So just wanted to kind of cover everything. I was trying to fly out on Sunday, but obviously the airports are currently shut down. So I'm going to try to find my way uh, back to the United States. Um, yeah, I'll keep you updated. Um, right now, I think the main thing is to not panic. Like I said, I think the main thing is to remain calm. And um, if you do want to help in any way, I will put a link where you can donate money to the Ukrainian army. You know, anything helps, obviously. Nobody has been in this situation before, so it's kind of hard to predict what can happen, what will happen. But um, I think the piece of advice is to, if you are in Ukraine or if you're watching this, um, read the news that are real. I know that panic can spread really quickly from on the internet. So I think the main thing is that you need to check your sources. And uh, yes, please. So we went to the grocery store um, to get some food. I think what we're gonna do is just stay at home. Like I said, there's not much you can do. Um, people who decided to leave Kiev are pretty much stuck in traffic. And to be honest, I think I'll feel much safer just being at home and we've already went and got the uh, uh like got the look inside of um of a bomb shelter with my mom um so yeah i'm gonna keep you posted i just wanted to say thank you so much um to everybody who reached out um that really means a lot i know a lot of you guys offered help and um you know that really does make me feel in a way safer i don't know why or how um, to answer your questions, though, the reason I stayed in Ukraine, first of all, I'm from here originally. Um, I'm a permanent resident of the United States, but I was born and raised here in Ukraine. And um, the reason I didn't leave is because before everything happened is because I had a knee surgery and I was recovering and I physically wasn't able to leave. That's one. But also another thing, too, is that my entire family is here. Uh, I've lived in the United States for... Um, for what, 11 years now, 10, 11 years, I don't even know, but my entire family is here. My mom, my dad, my aunts, uncles, cousins, my sister. I didn't have an option to leave before. I wasn't able to physically go. I, and then also, I don't even know how I would be feeling right now if I was sitting in Chicago, knowing that my mom is here, like, knowing that I might not have any um, like any way to talk to her and not knowing what's going on in a way I'm not gonna lie I think it's a good thing that I stayed because I think it might be even worse that if I were if I were in Chicago because at least here I feel like I can in some way be closer to my family protect them I, I mean obviously I, I don't think I can physically do that but um here is really important and um, you know try to stay calm as much as I can we'll see what happens today's day one I probably need there's still more, so much I want to say but honestly at this point I, I don't think it's even necessary or important like I just want to say that I am from the part of the country that speaks Russian fully my mom my, my my whole family, I think in Russian. Um, it's just that nobody wants war. Nobody. If you do have any questions, if um, you are interested in what's going on, please let me know. Um, honestly, I feel like this is helping me to kind of take my mind off of it in a weird way. But I'm here. I will answer your questions. Um, if you want me to talk about the specific topic, please give me give me a topic. <laughs> uh, you know, trying to just stay sane and not panic. So I'll be here.
Oh my gosh, this is a bomb shelter that is close to my house. So, um, let's see. Here, sitting at the shelter, um, in the bomb shelter, and checking the news constantly. We were told that something might happen around 5 p.m., so we're just waiting. Yeah, I don't know what. Oh, well, my next door neighbor also came with a present. You think this might be a real present, but about this. Six twenty-two in the morning, and people are, are leaving the shelter slowly to go back to the apartments. We were told by different news sources that we should be expecting an air attack around. Uh, the, at first, we were told like two a.m. Then somebody said five, six a.m. Right now, we only heard two loud noises um, at about like four or so, and this was our army deferring the attack. So. So far, all clear, and people are just trying to go back. And uh, I haven't slept, so that's fun. Also, I quickly just wanted to say thank you so so much, everybody who sent me money. Honestly, I I pretty much cried all night. That's why I haven't slept. I, it's not. It's hard to say it's not about money, but it it really is about the support that I feel from everybody, from people that I haven't talked to in a while, from people that I don't even know, from people who reshared and reposted just to show their support. It's incredible and I really appreciate every single person who reached out, who sent money, who uh, reacted, reposted, saved. We were just told that there's going to be an attack from the air and we need to seek shelter immediately. So I'm currently in the subway station that is fully open. It's underground, so this is a great shelter. And we're just waiting. Um, hopefully nothing happens or the sky clears. But uh, people have been using the uh, subway stations as a way to seek shelter. And I was in the, um, like a middle school um it, and now we're we're here because we kind of feel like it's going to be safer here so So we're going into the uh, underground.